Hey, what's up coders? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video series is a continuation of my chip widget series where I'd covered uh, what a chip widget is all about and uh, one of the two types uh, which is the um, filter chip and the choice chip. So to give you a brief um, idea as to what was covered in my first video, you can see the use cases. So the first one is the filter chip and the second one is my choice chip. So a chip is basically to uh, represent a data. Now how you represent the data, whether do you want it kind of a filter, multiple options, or you want a single option is all about the types of chip. So if you want to know more about my chip, please do watch my uh, first series. I'll add a link in the description. And uh, to moving on to the today's um, series, we're going to talk about the input chip and the action chip. So first, let's start with the input chip. Um, I'll cite you with an example. So I have already have my emulator running. Now, when I say an input chip, so first, if I say a chip, it's basically representing a data. That is, the data is already available on the screen and the user interacts with it. But in the input chip, it's a little different where the user has to type in some data and then you have some pre-populating data that comes on. So in this example, when you're drafting emails, when you type in the first few characters of a person, you have the email populating. But instead of just an email populating, you have the person's picture in the form of a chip, the name, and also you have a cross icon where you can delete it. So this is another way of representing your data in the form of chip. So that's about input chip. Now, so okay, let's start with the implementation. So let me clear the template. All right, uh, so first let's analyze this UI and then I'll tell you how I've implemented it. So first thing is the app bar. I've used a gradient app bar. So uh, I've already done a video series on gradient app bars or gradient background. So I'll leave a link in the description. So please do watch it. So I've used the same thing instead of using the app bar class. So first thing I've used the customized gradient app bar. The next thing is it's just three columns here and in my first column I have my chip details. So all I have is I have a column widget inside that I have my app bar and then my two container, my subject container and my message container. Now let's see what my two container is all about. So this is nothing but uh, it's a collection of my widget which is enclosed inside wrap widget why i use wrap is that just to ensure that it does not overflow so i've enclosed all my chip inside my wrap widget so in the wrap widget i have used a another custom widget which is called the profile chip and i've used the name and the images now now we will construct this profile chip widget so to start up with um this widget takes two parameters one is the name and the image Okay, now to define an input chip, all you need is use the name input chip. And it has a lot of factors in it. That's what, a, that's what makes it different from the other chip. So first thing we need, if you look at the chip here, it has an avatar, which is like the circle avatar. And then it has a cross, it has a text. So first let's work on the image. So instead of the image, you could also use an icon. So that's also a possibility. So to start up with, we will use avatar and I'm using a circle avatar. And inside my circle avatar, I'm going to give a background color for it. So the background color is, um, I'm using a standard color here, which is the blue gray. And then this has a container, so a child container, so that it can um, it can uh, fit in my image inside it. So, so my child container here is nothing but a container with a decoration, which is the box decoration. It's the box decoration. Now, what does this box decoration is? Nothing but the shape of this box decoration is going to be circle. 
in the box shape a circle and then I'm going to add an image inside it. So the image is a nothing but a decoration image and I'm going to say fit with a box fit fill so that it fills the entire container. So I'm going to use a box fit fill and then I'm going to define my image here. So the image here is the network image I'm using. You can definitely use an asset image also and the value of the image is my image here. That's it. So yeah. So it says label is required because definitely you want to add some text to it. So now moving on to the label part. So let's see where does this circle avatar ends here. Yeah. So we have to define a label. Now the label is a text and the text of the label comes from my name. Okay. Definitely this is the basic definition of an input chip, but I want to add a few more details to it. So I'm going to make use of a couple of other properties like the label style and give some text style to my chip name. So I have some custom properties here. Let me quickly update it. So I've added a font size, bold, everything. And there are properties like on pressed. If you want to display the detail of the person when you click on the um, chip, so for that you could use on pressed functionality and there is also on delete that is when you click on this cross you want the entire chip to display or you want some other action to be performed definitely you could use it so i'm going to also use on deleted so this is also another property that is available Okay, and uh, to see what are the other properties available in this is even you have the delete icon. So you, if you want to use a different icon, you can use it instead of the cross and you can also set the color of it and uh, the disabled color or the selected color. If you select a particular chip and you have something popping up, uh, I mean a dialogue popping up with the details of the person, you can definitely use it. You also have sh shapes and clip behaviors. So feel free to explore these properties and please do share it if you find something interesting. So this is what the basic uh, input chip is all about. So we're going to build this and uh, we will see how this looks on the emulator. Um, so the application has built successfully and you can see that the first chip is displayed here with the circle avatar, the text and the cross. So similar way, I can also add a few more uh, chip uh, with few details. And if I do a hot restart, let's see if we can see the details of the other chip as well. Yeah, there you go. So you can see the details of the person here. So this is how you implement the input chip in your Flutter application. Now next we will cover with the action chip. So let me clear the template and I'll show you how to implement the action chip. All right, so moving on to the action chip, I already have the emulator running. So first let me explain you what this action chip is. The name itself indicates that it's going to perform some action. So until now we have seen that a chip basically displays the data and all you have to do is either you check it or you filter it or you choose the particular data or you input a particular chip. Now action is it displays the chip and when you click on it, it performs some action. Say for example, I have here a home setting app um, and I have these chips displayed. This is basically an action chip. So for example, when I click on this, I have to perform some action and then that action leads to um, an output. Say for example, I have your turn on lights. So when I click on this, it gives me a dialogue saying choose the color of the light. So I have to perform some action. Similar way I have set alarm. So when I click on it, it's going to ask me for the input time that I want the alarm to be set. Or for example, when I say call Mike, it's going to route me to a particular um, phone application and it's going to dial that particular and say, okay, do you want to call Mike again? 
confirm or something like that so this chip action chip is basically used for some kind of action to be performed and also confirm before it performs that action but if you look at the other chip it's just purely to display some data and just interact with the user so this is about action chip so regarding the implementation part it's similar to your input chip because it has the same attributes the only difference is the name of the chip so the name is action chip input chip which has avatar background color label style label and on pressed so on pressed you could use the action that you want to perform so in my case i had used a dialog which says choose the color and then i just gave a flat button with the colors so definitely you can add a lot of functionality to your on pressed and show what you want the user to select when you click on the chip so this is also one uh, cool feature of the action chip so definitely um, uh, you have a lot of uh, ways you could use this and um, and yeah that's it for this video so in this video we covered um, what an um, input chip and an action chip is all about and um, the implementation remains very simple the difference lies in the use cases and how you want to use it and uh, yeah so hope you like this video if you do please give it a like and uh, subscribe and if you find this informative please do share it thank you